As the death toll from the coronavirus climbs, one hospital in Michigan designated for coronavirus patients closed its doors last week, sparking outrage and calls for answers. Beaumont Health insisting the closure of its Wayne location is not permanent and that most staff was redeployed to other sites while others were temporarily laid off. Some workers describing confusion and alarm about the timing of the move and about what's ahead. Joining me now is former Beaumont Wayne employee Jason Bradford, who is among those who were laid off. He was a shop steward uh, for the hospital. Jason, thank you very much for taking the time to join us. So this is obviously a, a story that's going to get a lot of people scratching their head exactly uh, as to what happened. What did yes. you find out your hospital, or when rather, did you find out your hospital would be closing? And, and how did they explain that decision to you? They didn't really explain it to, um, to any of us. Um, we didn't we didn't get any um, communication from the hospital. Everything was just slower cutbacks and, and getting rid of more and more people and minimizing staff. Um, it was all rumors and speculation because there was no. Um, it became official the day before we were laid off. We were uh, officially notified through email that our, our layoff was imminent and that it was effective. Was there any day. was there any kind of compensation offered or any kind of incentive just to help you out through this transition while they made the decision to to lay folks off? No, none at all. Um, we haven't even um, received any hazard pay. Any the union members are not receiving any hazard pay. The non-union members are receiving a very um, low uh, hazard pay, and they have to. Um, there's so many stipulations and rules that they have to go by. They have to work within a certain pay period. They have to work within so many hours. If they're out sick, um, even with the coronavirus symptoms, they will not qualify for the hazard pay. Incredible. So um, no, and we're also going to be losing our, our health insurance in a couple of weeks here. Yeah, that's uh, it's just absolutely mind-boggling. Uh, what a disappointment that is. Let me ask you um, yes. ab about the patients that were in your hospital. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happened to them very quickly? Uh, I know that they were all transferred out very quickly. Uh, within three days, we get we transferred out 38 patients. Um, they were transferring out very quickly. Um, doctors and med staff were were totally against it, saying that it wasn't safe. They were um, moving out dented patients. Um, it's been confirmed by a few med staff that one of our patients did pass away during transfer from our facility to one of the VA hospitals. Um, and the last patient was uh, lifted by helicopter um, on the on the last day. We haven't had any patient sense. Um, it was within hours of that last patient being shipped out that the letter of unemployment was sent uh, by email. What are you and your fellow employees, and you just mentioned that you're concerned about obviously losing your health insurance, but what else are you concerned about or most concerned about in the aftermath uh, of this closure? Uh, well, I'm really concerned about the community. I mean, um, Beaumont, Wayne, the demographic for, for patients is 700 thousand people in the surrounding communities that are now without Beaumont, the location of Wayne, which served all of them. So there's going to be a lot of people who aren't going to know where to go. They're not going to have um, resources to go without contacting, you know, the, the, the police and EMTs and even the fire stations, which is going to tie them up and it's going to cause a lot more manpower and shortages uh, with that aspect as well. And Jason, really quickly, what are you personally planning on doing going forward? <laughs> just just take it one day at a time and fight this and just let it be well known. That's my main priority. Um, I'll, I'll file for unemployment, but I, I wish everyone well. And it's just a shame that we've gone from healthcare heroes to unconsidered unemployed employees. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.